Hey guys, this is John from Walton's and this is Meet Gistics. Now there are a lot of advantages to marinating your meat before you cook it. The seasoning or cure will penetrate your meat more fully and increase the flavor and tenderness of your meat or even veggies. Now on waltonsinc.com, we sell a large list of Excalibur's dry marinades. Selling these as dry marinades instead of adding water to them before it gets to you offers a few advantages. First, the dry ingredients will have a longer shelf life. They'll also be easier to ship to you with less chance of breakage. And finally, and most importantly in my mind, is that you can make the marinade as strong or as mild as you choose. Now, Paws Black Bull comes in two varieties, an injectable and a regular marinade. These have long been two of my favorites. Now, the best way it was ever described to me is that it makes meat taste more like meat. Well, this is back when I first started here. I had no idea what that meant, but I tried it and I did agree with that definition. Well, what it's doing is it's increasing the umami flavor of the meat. Umami is now recognized as one of the taste sensations along with sweet, salt, bitter, and sour. Umami is a savory taste and it's present in lots of meats, but using something like Paws Black Bull will absolutely kick that up. The Paws version that is not injected also has some sodium phosphate in it. That's gonna help increase the water holding capacity of the meat. The injectable version does not have that as it doesn't need it since we're injecting it directly into the meat. Paws is perhaps the marinade I've used on more proteins than any other marinade. It excels on any cut of beef, but I've used it to great effect on chicken breast, whole turkeys, pork tenderloin, and chops. Now for this demonstration, we could have easily done something like a skirt steak, which is amazing by the way, but we wanted to show off some of its versatility, so we used it on some ribs. These were just some ribs that we bought at the grocery store, nothing fancy. We just mixed it up as a rate of 0.7885 of a pound to a gallon of water. So for this, that was just 1.2 ounces of seasoning to 13 ounces of water, and we injected the ribs until they wouldn't hold any more. We then did the three, two, one cooking method, which you can find on Meatgistics if you're interested. And how did they turn out? Well, the taste is absolutely out of this world. These are amazing tasting ribs. You get some of that increased umami flavor. It has a really nice sweetness to it without being overpowering. I'm gonna eat all of this. Injecting it directly into the meat of the rib lets it fully penetrate, so we've got perfect flavoring all the way through and it really comes through on every bite. Plus, I mean, it's falling away from the bone. This is so nice and tender. These, in my opinion, are absolutely perfect tasting ribs. We also did some asparagus right next to it just to give us some sort of veggie so we can tell ourselves we're eating healthy. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and visit waltonsinc.com and meatgistics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John with Waltons and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to check out more amazing videos. Shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Or watch more Hamptic videos by clicking here or by clicking here.